Okay, this is 11-1, which is uh, about identifying 3D solids and uh, also looking at uh, cross-sections of these solids. Um, let's start off talking about polyhedrons. You remember that a polygon is a figure made up of straight line segments. There are no curves in polygons. Well, similarly, there's no curves in polyhedrons. Uh, these are 3D figures bounded by polygons. So there's a couple different groups we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at prisms and pyramids. Uh, there are other polyhedrons besides these, but we're going to focus mostly on prisms and pyramids. So what is a prism? It's a 3D figure. Um, basically, it has two bases that are both parallel and congruent. So this you could call this a square prism or a rectangular prism. Uh, its bases are on the top and bottom, but you could also look at the bases as the front and the back or the left and the right. It just uh, depends on your perspective. This figure, however, would be nothing more than a triangular prism. Uh, you can only look at it one way. Uh, the bases have to be parallel and congruent to each other, and you name the prism according to its bases. Now, if the figure has one base and rises up to a point, we call that a pyramid. This would be a square pyramid. Uh, this one would be a triangular pyramid because its base is a triangle. Uh, pyramids are pointy, basically. They have a base and a point. But there's all kinds of other polyhedrons. Um, I could make a cube, which is a, a prism, and then put a pyramid on top of it, creating a whole new polyhedron that you, you couldn't call a prism or a pyramid. It's a combination of the two. It's sort of a, a, a composite figure. And then, you know, this other figure and, and this one, these are just other polyhedrons. Now, non-polyhedrons would be, um, for us, the figures that have curves. So cylinders, cones, and spheres we're going to be looking at. Cylinders are much like prisms. They have two bases. Uh, they may be oblique, which doesn't change the volume of them, but it does change the surface area. Um, cones are sort of like pyramids. They're pyramids with circular bases. And then spheres, of course, you know where the sphere is. The earth is a sphere, a beach ball. You get the idea. Okay, now you try identifying this polyhedron. Well, it's got one base. The top is pointy. All, all the uh, edges rise up to meet the point at the top. So I, I definitely think this is some kind of pyramid. What kind of a base does it have? It's got, it uh, looks like a pentagonal base. So this would be a pentagonal pyramid. Try this one. Now, you might always think of the base as being on the bottom, and you might want to call this a rectangular prism because the base is on the bottom and the top has also got a rectangle but that rectangle although parallel to the bottom is not the same size so this could not be called a rectangular prism because the bases have to be both parallel and congruent to each other if you look at it a different way the front and the back are parallel and congruent and those are trapezoids so this is called a trapezoidal prism how about this one it's not pointy um, but it does have parallel and congruent bases, which are both triangles, so this would be a triangular prism. This one's pointy. Um, has one base, and the edges rise up to meet this point on the right side, so this would be a hexagonal pyramid. All right, so this figure here would be a square pyramid. Um, we're going to name uh, some elements of this pyramid, the vertices, the edges, and the faces. So the vertices are basically the corners, the vertexes, where the, where the line segments meet. So point A, that's a vertex. B is a vertex. Point C, D, and E, those are all the vertices. It's got five vertices. The edges are the line segments that connect all these points. So segment AB, that's an edge. BC is an edge. CD, D, B, A. Uh, there's four on the bottom, and it looks like there's four lateral edges. Those are side edges. So it's got a total of eight edges. Now the faces. The faces are um, the sides of the figure. So this bottom face is um, a square. That's square A, B, C, D. And the one on the left here, that would be a triangle, triangle A, D, E. Uh, there's a triangle in the back, triangle A, B, E. And a triangle on the right side, triangle B, C, E. And then there's one in the front. So as far as faces go, there were... There were five faces of a square and four triangles.